Hey, what is up? And welcome to this episode of Citizen Meta 1. Today, I'm continuing to work on my Rococo to MetaHuman workflow, and you're seeing the end results here. I accidentally rendered this without motion blur, so it looks a little bit odd, and I am still very new to cleaning up mocap uh, with control rig, so the results are, you know, work in progress at best. So here we are in Rococo Studio, and this was the best mocap take. You'll see that my feet slide right about now. Here they come, they're gonna slide, yeah. That is a foot slide. This is what happens with inertial mocap. And another foot slide right about there. Boom, you see that? So those are the main pain points that we're gonna need to clean up in Unreal Engine. So um, I showed my retargeting workflow in the last video. I haven't changed it since. It needs a little bit of tuning on the upper arms, but this is what the raw Rococo mocap data looks like when I retarget it onto my MetaHuman. So uh, my first step is to bring in my character here and then I'm gonna plop on the Rococo animation and get his body control offset here uh, in the right place so that his feet are mostly at the right level and so that he's mostly um, in the right place to interact with the wall in this case. Uh, what you're seeing me do here now is starting to clean up the feet. So you saw in the raw mocap that there's uh, two places where the feet slide. And what I'm basically doing is identifying where I want the feet to be stationary and keeping those keyframes and then deleting everything in between them. So essentially just setting up key poses and deleting all of the mess in between. And then I go back and tweak the key poses. And this will actually uh, help lock the feet on the ground and kind of define uh, the cadence of like where the feet hit and you know um, in most cases when the feet plant that sort of indicates uh, where the hips are going to be positioned etc so I basically start with the feet and then move on to the hips after that uh, you're seeing me do an important part here which kind of shows the value of doing the cleanup in Unreal Engine is that one you get to see the lighting but more importantly you get to see the actual environment that you're going to interact with and then uh, adjust the animation to actually interact with it properly. So you're seeing me do the same kind of process that I did to the feet here, um, essentially identifying uh, key hand positions and uh, then positioning the hand on the wall and then copy and pasting those positions to the other key position. So now if you look now, the hand was actually stuck to the wall because otherwise it'd be sliding all around. You can see that the keyframes are much sparser here than like, you know, a key on every single frame is a little intense. And so this is what your mocap starts to look like if you go and clean up every channel. Not every channel needs it, but uh, your main art direction ones like feet, hips, hands, and head usually do here. So that is the cleanup process. So showing it again, here is our raw mocap. You're gonna see the feet slide. You'll see that the hand uh, is not locked in place. Any hands on hips are going to be way off. And uh, after the cleanup, uh, most of those things are resolved. So here's the final cleanup. The feet in this case, because it's out of context, are actually off the ground and floating. But in the scene, the carpet was actually kind of big. So that's the reason the feet are kind of floating. And, you know, the major landmarks have been mostly cleaned up. It's not the best, but it definitely looks a lot better. And here is the quote unquote final shot here. I'm just going to show the entire thing. It's not edited. Uh, I did one render from, uh, I did three renders of the entire animation and then just edit it together. I did not enable motion blur somehow. So it looks like super high shutter. And you know, uh, it's pretty interesting to do this process now. Uh, all I see are like hundreds of mistakes and things that I could clean up in the mocap, but overall I am very happy to be able to do my mocap either with my Vive system or Rococo suit and then ultimately just get it onto a control rig. And then from there it's basically however much time you have per shot and how much time you want to spend polishing it, you can get this to final quality, animate the fingers like I did, you know, use live link face for the face if you want to layer that on top of it. and. Uh, Pretty happy with the results and I'm going to keep working on this. I'll see you on the next video.